After watching season four, episode one of Attack on Titans, I started to think, who is really in the wrong in this war? Who has the right to win? Is it the Eldeans or the Merleans? The Eldeans have always been a primitive tribe who pillaged, raided, and cut the tongues out of opposing tribes or people. Well, the Marleans were a powerful nation who were living their lives as the 1% do, with rules, structure, and peace. The Eldeans' story seems to be one of suspicion and inequality. People wanting change, yet are unsure of what change to bring forth. Well, they do feel disenfranchised by the system. So I, I watch them. I mean, I've seen so many videos of these people out there screaming and cheering and chanting, and they feel like they're a part of something. They know they want people to be treated equally. They know they want to have universal basic income. They know they don't want people to say certain words or phrases because it may hurt someone's feelings. So there's nothing you guys can do? No, sir, that's freedom of speech. Well, these are the same people who are unwilling to change themselves by cleaning their rooms, thinking critically, or dealing with past traumas. But they should start fixing up the world by cleaning up their room. And They want things to be easy to be handed to them without putting in the work? Why not pick the best thing possible that you could do? So, after years of the Eldeans pillaging, raiding, and cutting people's tongues out, Ymir gained the power of the Titans. She used her power to defeat Marleyan's forces, wipe out countless cultures, and slaughter over three times the world's population with her Titan powers. Sound familiar? If not, let's take a look back in history, as other dictators have always tried to gain control because they were suppressed, angry, and resentful of how they were treated. And they're instantly ostracized from society. Right. I mean, anybody who has an argument about Genghis Khan, I mean, there's a gr really fascinating um, take on this by Dan Carlin from Hardcore History, where he's talking about the amount of time that has passed since a horrible treated. atrocity. They believe this gives them the right to take over and control people who are in power because they have been treated poorly in the past. When the real solution is not to get mad at the world, but instead look inside of yourself and see where you can improve by asking yourself questions such as, where am I lacking? What could I do better? What areas of myself can I improve? Instead of taking it out on others. As the years passed, the Marleans attempted to assassinate Fritz, Eldian's king, but Ymir intervened and was killed instead. After Ymir's death, the Marleans were able to take back their kingdom thanks to the help of Fritz taking pity on the opposing people of Marley. He knew that his sins and what his people had done to others was not the way the world should be. However, this defeat and betrayal of the Aldean people pushed them back to Paradise Island and lost control of the seven of the nine titans to the Marleyan forces. The Eldeans were only allowed to keep two titans for their own protection. I do my best to explain to people, or nations in AOT's case, that people who have power know what it takes to obtain this power. People or nations that don't will always fall back down because they haven't endured the hardships required to succeed. You don't get rich quick. Most people get rich slow. People who are not doing well always seem to find something to complain about instead of getting to work on themselves. I have a feeling that when Marley lost control, they didn't sit on their hands wishing they could go back to how things were. No. Instead, they thought of ways they could rebuild and obtain what they once had. Everyone wants to be handed money, fame, and power without putting in the work required to obtain these skills. Do you think Levi sat on the sidelines waiting for his chance to beat the Beast Titan or starve to get death on the streets?
Do you think Aaron was going to give up on becoming a cadet only because he couldn't find his balance in the contraption? Do you think Armin was going to lose to the Colossal Titan and let all of his friends die? They all knew nothing good was going to come from them sitting on their hands waiting for their government to give them what they wanted. They understood they had to go in to the world and work for what they wanted. This is why the Marleans are so strong and the Eldeans are so weak. The Eldeans wanted the power, control, and nice lifestyle without putting in the work. Well, the Marleans are working to make their city bigger, stronger, and protect their citizens from threats. Our society has structures in place because it has been proven to work for millennia. When we try changing too many things at once, it only brings failure. However, minor changes here and there are good. But when we look at what happened to Marley shortly after the Aldean people took over, Marley was able to regain rule of their kingdom. There is no way for society to function when people are being handed money, food, or resources. Every time a society has tried, they have failed. It's the value creation that comes first. The profits come second. I want to know your guys' thoughts of who you think is in the right below in the comments. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. It's free after all. Leave a like and share it with a friend. That's all I'm asking. Thanks, you guys, and until next time. Thank you.